Did you hear that? Hmm. Outside the window, did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard a bat. A bat? Yeah, like a bat screech. A bat screech. Yeah. Doubtful. Yeah? We don't have bats here. Yeah, but I heard it outside the window. Did you know bats carry diseases? Not all bats. What bats don't carry disease? Vampire bats. Vampires. Yeah, like vampire bats, because, well, they're not actually bats. They just turn into bats, you know? Shapeshifters. What the fuck are you talking about, vampire bats? I'm talking about real fucking bats, which we do have. Sven Budenshawn, two houses down, he said that he had a nest of bats living in his attic last winter. Well, good thing we don't have an attic. Lorraine, could you pass the pepper? So, that doesn't mean that we can't have bats living outside our window. Well, maybe you're hearing things like mom. Well, if we do have a giant nest of bats living outside of our house, I'll be sure to get you to clear it up. We're out of pepper. Shut up, Edward. You're so weird. What is your problem tonight? I don't know. I always get this way before Matsy comes to stay. When she's supposed to be getting here anyway. Late tomorrow afternoon? Fuck, she's fucking weird. Some say love is a burning thing that it makes a fiery ring. Oh, but I know love is a fading thing, just as fickle as a feather in a stream. See, honey. And Mabsy is here. Mabsy, hey. Hey, Eddie boy. Don't call me that. Okay. We're going for dinner tonight to celebrate Mabsy's graduation. Uh, I was gonna make a pizza pop and have some blueberry fudge. Too bad. We're going to Applebee's. Applebee's? You bet. I thought we were going to Ruby Tuesdays. Those don't exist here, but Applebee's is essentially the same. Oh. Be ready in half an hour? Oh, and don't let my weird brother touch you. They have a really good steak sandwich at Ruby Tuesdays. I don't like steak. Oh. I'm allergic to the steak spice. It gives me a rash. Oh. I like your dog. Her name's Robocop. I'm allergic to dogs. So, uh, you'll sleep here, I guess. What happened to the guest bed? Hmm, we had to sell it. Why? to get a cappuccino machine. Oh. Yeah, it was worth it though. Can I have a cappuccino? Mm, it's broken sadly. Oh. Mm, yeah. your house. I'm busy. It's important. What? Do you believe in ghosts? What? 
Do you believe in ghosts? I don't... No. No, I don't. Well, you should. Why is that? Because your house is haunted. What? Are you... No, it's not. No, it really is. I can feel it. I felt it as soon as I arrived this afternoon. Something bad is here. You're just trying to scare me. I'm not, Edward. I can see it. You stop saying stuff like that. You can't see anything. You're just trying to scare me. I'm not, Edward. Yes, you are. I, I remember when we were kids, you used to always I'm try. I'm being serious. I can see it. Ghosts are invisible. Not all the time. Stop it. My boyfriend has been teaching me about this kind of stuff, Edward. Connections to spirit bodies. I know what I see. You know what? If there was a ghost following me, Robocop would have noticed by now. And, and she would have warned me. Edward, this is my boyfriend, Abbott. Eddie boy, nice to meet you. Uh, don't call me that. Can do, my friend. I'll call you Edmo instead. Why? I had a cat named Edmo once. I, I don't like cats. Yeah, he died doing what he loved. Which was? Playing with power tools. Abbott is highly renowned for his ability to communicate and drive out evil forces. It's true. Um, I was born with a gift to see things that others cannot. Well, uh, I, I don't know about that, but there was definitely something in my room last night. Something... Uh, spooky? Scary. I did try to warn you. Yeah, you know, I don't feel anything out of the ordinary here. Oh, and you must be Edmo's sister. Abbott! Uh, who were you talking to? I was... Wait. Get the motherfucking sage! There's something that doesn't want to leave. It feels like it's attached to the house. Bonded with it. Like some kind of... You, I need you to light those candles next to you. Wait a minute, is this a seance? A seance? Do I look like the type of idiot 
Who's who's gonna have a motherfucking seance in a motherfucking haunted house? That's some white people shit. Okay, sorry. It just looks like we're having a seance. I also don't understand why we had to turn off the TV. Because it gets in the way of my connection. Yeah, but we could have just put it on mute and watched something with visual grandeur. No, it's not about the sound. It's the waves it emits. But we could just dim the brightness. You know, the TV has a brilliant setting. Damn it! No, it disrupts my ability to connect. Can I watch it in my room? No! Just sit there and don't talk. Hmm. Real gem, this one. Be quiet. He's trying to help us. We don't recall asking for help. And even if there were a ghost in this house, I would just rather not know about it. Shh. There is someone, or something, in this house. I'm asking that you leave the people here alone. They are among the living. You must find your place amongst the dead. That is where you belong now. Leave the living alone. Did he go? He went downstairs. It looked like he was following something. I... I saw it too. Wait, what? There was something at the top of the stairs. We gotta go down there. To the basement? No, that's where the scary shit happens. You guys are being ridiculous. Edward is just being a weird yes per usual. You coming? I don't believe this. Edward? Edward! Edward? Told us a lot. He used to live here. Came back from the war. Found people living here. Found us living here. Edward, where's Abbott? Why? Why is all this? I can see him. See him? He's right behind you.
Depression.